I've got up close video of the moving and chiming clock, so stay tuned to the end to see and hear this world wonder from antiquity. You travel lovers should add Prague to your bucket list. Mostly unscathed by world wars, this city holds many beautiful sights and is welcoming to travelers. Today, we're looking at the astronomical clock. When folks saw me walking around Prague, they thought I was there to give an expert lecture at this museum and that this must be my car, but they were mistaken, of course. I was there to check out the clock. Maybe next trip. Let's first take a look at the different components of the clock. The top circle consists of the hourly clock and the astronomical dial. This is the oldest part and was installed in 1410. Yep, that's right, over 600 years ago. The bottom circle is the calendar dial and was installed in 1490. At the same time, the stone Gothic figures were added. The wooden figures were added in the mid 1600s and the hourly parade of apostles was added right about the time the US elected George Washington and adopted the Constitution. The crowing rooster was added about the time of the US Civil War. One of my favorite details, which is easy to miss, is this awesome little dragon. I'll let you find him yourself on the clock, like where's Waldo? Looking for another reason to hate Nazis? In 1945, the freaking Nazis started a fire in a nearby building that destroyed the calendar clock face and the wooden figures. The ones you see are replacements from 1948. The skeleton represents death. With his hourglass and ringing bells, he reminds you that your days are numbered and your time is slipping away. During the video, notice that the three guys next to him shake their head no, showing they aren't ready to go. But Mr. Death nods yes, because their time is up. This Turkish man with loot in hand represents leisure and good times. Check out Mr. Vanity, who carries a mirror so he can constantly check himself out. With money bag in hand, the miser just never has enough. Archangel Michael points to the church calendar that displays the names of 365 saints. Standing next to him is a philosopher. On the other side of the calendar stands an astronomer and a reporter, or chronicler. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. Hear and see it for yourself. about your travel experiences below and share this video with another travel lover. Thanks and see you later.